Yeah, yeah, and and yeah, my philosophy ahead. is my philosophy is there's wins and lessons. I don't ever count them as losses. Uh, there's wins and lessons. But with Alex, Alex, I know you got a question. Go ahead. Oh no, I'm I I'm learning a lot about Anderson. Geez, I didn't know you had a <laughs> phone business and uh, the story with. Uh, he was a serial hustler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just keep going on go. Um, no, I I mean one of uh I didn't want to cut you off. I didn't know if you had more to say, Anderson. Uh, sure. But uh, one of the questions that I do have for you is uh, I'm curious on what your philosophy is uh, with money, or what with money with money. Well, I don't put my whole heart on money. I don't like to like a worship money. I don't do that. My philosophy about money, money have to work for me. I think that's the main thing you have to put in your brain. And I, I don't work for money. Money, for me, it's like a, how I got to say that, like a reward for what do I do. Because when you put money in the first place, um, it's hard because you become a little bit arrogant. You ch the, because the money can change you, you know, M money can change people. And if you don't have control on, on that thing, money can change you. And, uh, and the funny thing is, like, uh, if the person is very arrogant and he get more money, the, 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 the frequency, the tendency to, to, to that person will be more arrogant. You know what I'm saying? But if if the person is kind and 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 nice and polite, when that person get more money, they 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 naturally they come more polite, more kind, more helpful. You know, I I'm think that way. That's I think is my philosophy. Mm -hmm. And and with that, most a lot of people always say money changes people. Money doesn't change people. Money just accentuate who you really are. That's exactly. all it does. Exactly. Yeah, that's all it does. Yep, yeah, so exactly. if you was, if you was an asshole when you was broke, you're just a bigger asshole because you got money. If you're yes, a good exactly. guy when you was broke, you're just a good guy with money. Yeah. Yep, that's yeah, true. I agree that's with you. So and and that's a, part you, of like the, the go, ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> that's like uh, the way that's that that the way you grow up, like the fathers. Like when you have a good father, good mom, good base on a family, and they teach all the principles, it's it's easy to 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 administrate that. But anyway, for anyone, if you want to change, you can change. You know, you know what I'm saying. If you if you want to, if you see I'm doing that bad, and if you start working on that thing a little bit, a little bit, you can change the personality. It's it's not a big deal. Just the person that want, they have to want to. I have seen people change change personality, but it's not it's not easy. Right now, Anderson, with that as well. Um, so you said you began thinking this way um, in two thousand and uh, was it two thousand and eight or two or before two thousand eight? Actually, two thousand and one, around when you be when you came to this country, or when you came to. Um... When I came to this country, it was in 1999. 1999, in 2001, I have my CDL. That's when I start for the freighters. But I'm, I'm the first thing I got here. I see that rent was very expensive, and and when I when I met uh the the, the my first boss, he was Spanish, and he's the one teaching me Spanish also. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, and uh, uh, and uh, he say he was saying I have to buy a house, and I bought a house. We, uh, I actually, on 1999, I wasn't I wasn't with a tourist tourist visa, like a B two visa, but I went to Mississippi to take my social security. And uh, and I went to there. They give my social security. That means I was illegal. But not a hundred percent illegal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. And I, I was able to work, and I was, and I pay my when I when I did my citizenship, I show up my 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 tax from 1999, 
And the guy say, I never seen that. I say, man, I've been here from 99. When I get my social security, every year I was paying my tax. Right. And, and the guy was very yeah. impressed. And, uh, and it's, 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 I just want to make a completion of that. Go ahead, Alex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that, uh, that, no, that was, that was it. Um, Kirby, did you, I, I got a couple more questions. I don't know if you got something mm -hmm. though that you're going to ask him. Uh, I got a question for you. So you're in, you're in the real estate, you're more in the Southeast part of Florida. So what is your, exactly. what is your goal? What are you trying to get to when it comes to real estate? How many properties do you want to eventually accumulate? Uh, my goal, it's at least like a uh, fifteen properties. I want to go through that. Do you think because or I'm already forty five years old? Fifteen, fifteen properties. I think is gonna be okay for my retirement, and leave my 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 generation, my next generation, a very comfortable zone. But I'm I, the time's clicking. And that's why I'm rushed because I'm already 45 mm -hmm. and I have another more 10 years, maybe good 15 years to do that. And, and then my, and the group, I think the good thing is the motivation. What, what is keep me motivated? It's my kids. That's uh, because when I see they growing, they, they one of the best students in school. That's give me a lot of motivation right. and see my wife happy. I think my family, it's the most like a previous, like, like the, they, 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 they supposed to be being here. Tell, tell about me, you know, because they are a big support on my, my, my side. Mm -hmm. I think for the I'm people watching us, the one of the bases is family. Family is everything. And everything you do with your partner, even with women or wife, uh, women or men, uh, you have to be share the dreams and share where you want to go. And you have to celebrate every step you conquer. And you have to celebrate because that make your motivation up. And uh, that's the one thing I think is it's very, very important. And like, I mean, I have this conversation with Alex and I have conversations with other people um, when it comes to the, the concept of money. And like you, you said, it, you said it best. Um, money is just keeping score. We work hard and we put in the work every day because we want better. The money, the money that we make from it, it's just how other people keep score. But for us, we're still going to live our normal everyday life. And then the money is just a reward or something or whatever for the work that we put in. And then, so everybody, when they see the, you know, what you're doing and the money is generating, it's, they're thinking of, hey, what can you buy? But, you know, entrepreneurs, they're thinking of how can they leave a legacy, you know, way after we're gone. You know, I always, you know, talk to Alex and say, you know, I have this huge picture of me and my wife on there. And my only, my only wishes is that that picture goes into everybody's house in my family to say, hey, we started this so y'all can benefit years and years later. So we're putting in the hard work. And that's what it's all about. It's not about the Lamborghinis. It's not about the, you know, and all that. Other stuff. It's not about none of that stuff. It's about so our families don't have to go through the same struggles that, you know, you had to go through working at a car wash and, you know, doing all this other stuff. It's we're trying to set a foundation. So they don't have to go through the same struggles that we have, but people don't get it. Everybody's so, you know, instant microwave society. Oh, I'm just here to take care of myself. But why did you have kids if it's not about leaving them in a way better place than you were when you started out? So I, li yeah, I like that I point right there. Six, I, yeah, I take I took six years uh, of my marriage. My first six years, I was consolidate my marriage, make sure everything's gonna be okay. Uh, let's. And when I get to that point, I say, now is the time to have a baby. And my first kid right. come with after six years of marriage. Right. 
and I wait another nine years to get the to make sure I get the second one. <laughs> yeah, I, because I, I waited. Me and my wife, we waited eight years before the first one. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it because that's the way you can plan. Because when you put a kids on this world, you know it's not easy. It changes exactly. everything. It's it's uh, the responsibility, the time consuming. Everything changed. Even travel. You cannot travel if the the kids on school. And, and when you travel on a on a on a vacation, everything is more expensive. <laughs> way more expensive. Way more expensive. And, the, and you, 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 made, you made a good point because you know you you gave that six years so you and your wife can get all the you know you time out of the way because once the kid but, shows up, it's one hundred percent about the kid. We didn't. Once, as a parent, you give up your life so your kid can be in the situation. I mean, like, I have That's friends right. and family and stuff like that. They'd be like, oh, why don't you just find babysitters so y'all can go out and do whatever y'all want to do? It doesn't work well, like that. Why, why do we have a kid if we're going to do that? When yep. you have a kid, it's, all right, we, we've done everything that we need to do. Now it's all about putting all our time, energy, and effort into the kid so they can continue what we're trying to build. So I like it. I like yep. it a lot. Alice? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just listening. Me without kids trying to take advice. <laughs> so, uh, um, Anderson, the next question I have for you is uh, what was your first investment in what field? Was it was it the real estate? Was it trucking? Was it the engineering? What was your first investment? My first in investment was in myself. Okay. And my my mind, but talking about uh, um, those options you say, like I, I did was real estate. Yeah, okay. that's the uh, I was because my first real estate I bought in two thousand. That means I was uh, actually December was twenty fourth of December, nineteen ninety nine. No, 2000 was turning 2001. Yeah. After one year and six months, I was in America. Okay. So I, I love it. I because... this, I, sorry, go ahead, Kirby. Go ahead. You know, no, no, I, I love it because he's only one year, six six months in America. And these people have been in America 50 years and still ain't bought one property yet. <laughs> it's amazing. That's, that's the amazing thing. But go ahead, Alex. Sorry. That's standard. Um, no, um, so I hear this, I hear that, uh, statement a lot, uh, investing in yourself. Um, uh, so in what way, uh, can you share with us that you did, uh, invest in yourself? Uh, mentally, okay. I think it's the most important mental, mentally, physically, because okay. you need health to do the, the, the things and, you have to be smart and take the right decisions on the right time. That sometimes is hard for a lot of people. They don't know how to take decisions because always in our life you walk, you you, you walk into a and that path has a two ways to go. Sometimes three, and you have to choose one. You have, and sometimes if you choose the wrong one, you lose time, lose money. And of course, uh, I'm I'm a believer, and always when I want that position, I take a time, pray, <laughs> look around, and step on it. And right. ninety nine percent is working, but it's not everything. About faith is very important. Very important. You have a faith, but. The decisions you have to take, it's 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 on you. You cannot say, God, you guide me to here. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. You have to decide on yourself. Because when I say mentally, uh, mentally you have to keep your brain positive all the time. And if you start thinking negative, just walk away from that thought and go back positive. You have to take the positive on every situation and focus on that because my positive mind brings positive life. 
-hmm. And for people who are beginning right now, my advertising for them is my, my, what I say by like, if I want to start over again, it will be wonderful with the experience I have today with 18 years right. old, man, I was <laughs> flying. <laughs> right. But the thing is, uh, just watch what the people you walk with and try to involve with people bigger than you, not smaller than you. Because people is more than you, it's going to be only for you help. That's how I do. Like if I involve in people, like uh, it's more than me, like uh, a knowledge, not not degrade them. Just people, a lot of people doesn't have a lot of knowledge. They don't look for a knowledge. They don't care about a knowledge. They, they, they just live their life. And I'm okay with that. It's they, they, they can decide that. But if they ask me for help, I will help for sure, with no doubts. And if they want to listen what I say or not listen, it's between them. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that's what I do. That's what I do. I keep my mind positive. When I have a, the good thing, my job, uh, I have a lot of free time. And I like to hear books like uh, people talking about real estate, people talking about investments, some uh, uh, marketing. I like to hear that, but I have some favorite books I want to mention here. If you want to grow, like uh, you guys is watching us, I know it's going to be hit. The, 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 why you're doing this is because we want to help other people, and I love that. I love helping other people because when you share something you learn, you 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 wanna be you gotta be win like a double on a feature because you share a knowledge and that's very grateful it's like thankful for who shares and what I what I'd say to people it's uh they have to to read the few books like uh, it's a very old book it's they call a, a millionaire mind think and grow uh think and grow rich this book was wrote in 1930s, but he gave a lot of ways for you reprogram your brain. Because sometimes we learn something doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Our fathers teach something to us, and on the on the end of the day, you gotta say, "Man, that was wrong. This is too old. Now is a different." It's not because they don't want to teach you the good things. It's about a knowledge. And we have to be like a rumble, like a rumble enough to just understand and 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 try to to just like uh share the good things with the people, help them. And it's a it's 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 a knowledge. A knowledge it's the key, I think it is.